Well, I would like to make an offer that cannot be refused. It's a very interesting offer, I think, and I think that a lot of people would like to see something like this. So before we jump into the offer, though, I do want to remind everybody that there is going to be a live today on the Alec Baldwin trial. I'm putting on a live Wednesday today, 3 p.m. I'm going to be joined by a nationally acclaimed trial attorney who's done many trials, criminal defense, civil rights all over the country. It'll be a very interesting conversation, so join me on my channel, Brother Counsel, at 3 p.m. today for a live. Bring your questions, and it should be an interesting conversation. Now, let's get back to the Karen Reed trial. We know that Karen Reed already has been tried, and she was found that there was a hung jury, and therefore an mistrial was ordered. And now the only question really for the Commonwealth is whether they're going to actually bring this case again. And, of course, they've already issued a press release saying that, of course, they intend on bringing this case again. Uh, they feel so confident about their case. And at this point, we all understand that that's really just posturing. Whether they're going to actually bring the case again, they still have to think about and get some more information. So, for example, if some of the jurors start speaking out and they tell us what the voting was, was it split down the middle? Was it 11 to 1 in favor of guilty? Well, that would certainly embolden the Commonwealth to bring the case again. Was it 11 to 1 in favor of not guilty? Well, then maybe they wouldn't be so fast to bring the case again. So there's still more to be learned before before the Commonwealth actually makes a real decision about whether they're going to actually bring the case. But in the meantime, I was thinking the following. You know, uh, I think anyone who's been watching my channel understands that I've been very open-minded about this case. I've been objective the same way I follow all these cases until I see all of the evidence presented. I don't make any opinions about the guilt or innocence of anybody. And in this specific case, after all the evidence was in, my opinion was that the jury should have come back with a not guilty verdict, although I did predict that it was going to be hung because it's just difficult to convince 12 people of anything. So, uh, that's what my belief was I, after reviewing the evidence, my experience, I would believe that there was a reasonable doubt here. But what I'm hearing is that there are other lawyers out there who felt that actually the, guilt, the verdict should have, should have been guilty. And I thought it would be interesting to have a conversation with some of these lawyers. Uh, I'm a lawyer. They can, they, they're lawyers, and we can have a conversation together. I think people would be interested to see how lawyers talk about this uh, specific case, talking about the facts, talking about the evidence, and why one lawyer believes that there is reasonable doubt and why one lawyer believes that there's not reasonable doubt. And obviously we have to pull away from Alan Jackson and, and, and Lally because they have, they have jobs to do and obviously they're going to present the case in a certain way. But as objective uh, outsiders, uh, we can really have an open and fair conversation uh, about the evidence and the facts. So uh, if anybody out there, I'm asking you, if anybody there has some sort of persuasion or sway uh, with some of these other lawyers who have been coming out and, and have saying that they felt that after reviewing the evidence and the facts of this case, they believe the verdict should have been guilty, um, please, if you can reach out to them and tell them, uh, you know, I think this would be a very interesting and educational experience for everybody. And uh, I'm intellectually honest. I, you know, maybe I can hear some things and some arguments that would change my mind. And I think it would be an interesting conversation to have. So um, if anybody has that persuasion, please go ahead, reach out to the attorneys, and maybe we can set something up. We can do it on their channel. We can do it on our channel, on my channel. We can donate the proceeds to a charity, whatever they want. I think it's just an interesting conversation to have, and I think that people would be interested in it. So um, that is the offer that I think should not be refused. That's what I'm putting out there. Please join me at 3 p.m. for the live today on Wednesday talking about the Alec Baldwin trial with a nationally acclaimed trial attorney, attorney himself. So we will see you then. Thanks all for watching. If you haven't, let's subscribe, like, and we will see you next time.